Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to um, create a global variable in Visual Studio that's accessible by two different forms. Okay, so what you may have noticed is that, let's say you have uh, one form like this here, and you have another form, a separate form, and you want both of these forms to be able to access a single value so what you have to do actually is you have to create a separate class and create a static variable, a global variable that's global to both of these forms. Okay, and the way we do that is let's say we start a new project. We'll start a new forms project and we'll call this global variable demo okay okay so now we have our form we have our one form here and let's create another form We're going to add another form, and this will be called form two. Okay. So let's say we go here and we view our code, and actually let's go back to our designer and let's put a button here. Okay, and we'll double click on the button. So if we put a variable here, let's say an int, we call it number, and we make it equal to fifteen. Okay, and then here I say message box show number okay um, oh I have to convert this to a string okay so now if I click here we're gonna get 15 okay but now let's say if I go over to form 2 and I do the same thing. If I create another vari another variable called number number and make it equal to 20, and I run the same thing. So it's going to it's going to say 15 because what it's doing is it's using the variable that's local to form one. Okay, so if we go here, it's using this variable here. That's separate than the variable that's local to form 2 even though it's the same name it's a separate variable okay so what we have to do uh, is we have to go to our solution and we have to add a new class okay so I went to a right clicked and I put and I went to add a new class and we'll, we can just call this class anything but let's call it global variables okay and then what we need to do here is so now let's say we want our number now Okay, and we're going to make it equal to 99. Okay, well that's still not quite enough. So let's, if we go back to form 1 now, and let's get rid of this variable. So now what we have to do is we have to access the class. So we would say global variable dot. Um, okay, and why isn't that? Let's have a look here, global variable. Uh, so we have to make this public. And here we go. So now we can access. So because we haven't, we still can't access the variable inside that class quite yet, because we have to do one more thing. We have to make this public and static. Okay. So now if we go back here and we click on our class, now we have access to number. Okay. So what we can do is we can say number two string. Okay. And then after that, we're going to create a new form 2 called form 2 equals new form 2 okay and we're going to show that form and then in form 2 we're also we're going to create another button here we'll click here and we'll get rid of this variable and what we're going to do is we're going to say message box dot show and then again we can access our global variables 
by accessing the class and then accessing our number. Okay, so now when we run, oops, we have to set this to be a string. So now when we run everything, first we're going to open up form one. So we click here, we get 99, and then we're also now we're in form two. If we click it, we're still going to get 99. Okay, so now if we look back at our our little diagram here, both of these forms are referencing the same global variable. Okay, so that being said, be careful of your use of global variables. Um, usually, you don't want to make a variable global unless you absolutely need to. Okay, so um, that's how that's just one way you can pass information between forms and allow separate forms to both access uh, the same data. Okay, that's it. Talk to you later. Bye.